let's look at another example we have given a system of pulleys which are being loaded like these a 10 kg weight a 2 kg weight and a 1 kg weight okay we are also given to assume that all pulleys are massless and frictionless we have to find out the acceleration of all the blocks okay so if you can see over here this is one constant rope okay along the pulley this is another rope along another pulley so the acceleration of this block and this pulley is going to be the same and opposite okay we are going to have if i call this as let's say this block is a this pulley is b this block is c and this block is d then i am going to have acceleration of a plus acceleration of b equal to 0 right this this length of the rope is same okay so if I were to take let's say if I were to take this as reference this is going to be xa this is going to be xb right xa plus xb is l therefore aa plus ab is equal to 0 okay similarly if you look at these two blocks over here this whole rope length is constant okay therefore if you were to take this as a reference this distance plus this distance is going to be constant right therefore you are going to have AC plus AD is equal to 0 okay therefore the acceleration of this block is equal and opposite to this pulley and acceleration of this block is equal and opposite to this pulley okay but the thing is this acceleration is going to be with respect to the acceleration of this whole system okay so essentially what you have is AC plus AD is not equal to 0 rather you have AC with respect to B plus AD with respect to B is equal to 0 look it's like this you have a vehicle okay it is going with an acceleration of say 2 meter per second square within that vehicle you have another small vehicle which is going with an acceleration of 1 meter per second square with respect to this guy okay if that is the case then the total acceleration of this guy would be 2 plus 1 right similarly over here what we have is we have the acceleration of this C with respect to B and acceleration of this D with respect to B given by this particular equation okay the acceleration of b is given by this particular equation okay and your acceleration of c is going to be what we know that a of c with respect to b is a of c minus a of b therefore a of c is going to be a of b plus a of c with respect to b okay so you have a of c is equal to a of c with respect to b plus b okay and you are going to have a of d equal to a of d with respect to b oops a of d with respect to b plus a of b okay i am going to have caps over here so this is a of c with respect to b plus a of b so your acceleration of this guy the pulley and the blocks is governed by these four equations okay now let's make an assumption we are going to assume that this guy is going down okay and this subsystem is going up okay and in this particular subsystem we are going to assume that this guy is going down and this guy is going up okay just understand there is this whole subsystem which is going up okay and within that you have these bodies which are going in opposite directions okay hence we have these equations okay so I am just going to say that 